all creation suffer the effects of sin yes. until Jesus comes. Mm. Praise God. So those of us who have started a little while ago, praise God, we have been through, you know, some of the things. Praise God. And for those who have just started, just remember that there are some suffering in along the way there's some suffering along the way it's not going to be honey and sugar all the time praise god there are going to be some book toes some trip up along the way yes you're going to get some bruises praise god some things are going to happen praise god but hear what we must always focus on the glory of God. No matter what, we endure. Always focus on the glory of God. Praise God. Because there is an end time coming. Praise Almighty God. And you know, Jesus knows our heart. Praise mm -hmm. God. And he intercedes for us when we cannot do so. Sometimes we are, we have a little inability. We are unable to pray and say what we want to say to God. But thanks be to God for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who comes in, praise God, when we cannot utter, praise God, and the, the Holy Spirit takes over, praise Amen. God, and present our petitions to God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. What a mighty, what a mighty God. God we serve. Amen. He doesn't leave us on our own. Never ever leave us on our own. And Never so leave us alone. Yes, and so we serve a God who is always helpful to us. All we have to do as children of God, trust as, the teacher, him. as the teacher said to us, is trust him. focus on our Savior. Praise God. Praise God. Don't lose sight. Don't lose sight. Praise God. A runner, an athlete, when he or she is running, their sight is set on the winning post. Their sight is set on the goal. Praise God. We as children of God, our sight is set. Praise God. On this holy city, this new Jerusalem. Oh, Praise yeah. God Almighty. Hey. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Bless the name praise of Jesus. Jesus. Praise God, praise God. That is where our hope lies. Praise Almighty God. Hallelujah. God. So today, we're going to move into our consecration. Let us look to the Lord in prayer, saints. Kind Father, and our God, our heavenly hope, our hope of all ages. We thank you that we can come before your presence today in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, mm. who have set us free from the bondage of sin and death. Oh, thank you, Lord. And have given us the hope that if we continue to trust in him by thank grace, you, Lord. thank you, Lord. Thank you. present us to the Father, uh, God, as a complete heritage Mm -hmm. Redeemed, restored. We once belonged to you, God, when you made man in your own image in the Garden of Eden. Man was without sin. Man was like God in a human form uh, to control earth and to spread abroad the glory of God. But sin walked in, and from that time, hence God, Sin has been walking through, down through the ages, because we were made in this image of, of Adam and Eve, subjected to the fall. But thank God, when Jesus came, he broke that set of images. Amen. He restored us. Uh, now we are living by faith and by hope. Oh God, waiting mm. for the adoption that shall come in its totality when the suffering of this time will not be able to be compared with the restoration and the bringing back 
we will never be deceived again. This flesh will live in righteousness continually and steadfast, bowing before the throne of God, saying, mm -hmm. Holy is the Lamb of God. Oh, now God, sometimes we want to say so, but because of the situation of life, we have to reckon him, the Holy Spirit, to bear up our arms and give us the strength to proclaim him God. And we are still hoping, Father, that down through the ages, you're coming again. As your servant minister this morning say, there is a resurrection. A man shall be brought back. Not in this physical body that is tempted and tested and tried. But we'll be given a glorified body like unto Jesus' glorified body which was raised from the dead. Mm -hmm. And not just that, but we will be caught up to be with him in the ear. Oh, what an exchange. What a rapture it's going to be, Heavenly Father. Give us this hope. Everyone who's going through some severity today, some condition today that they cannot even manage, that we cannot even manage, come Holy Spirit. Come with your mind. Yeah. Come with your power and your glory. This flesh is bruised and broken, but we have a rescue in the Lamb of God. Uh, a resurrection that will make us all perfect. Perfect in hope, perfect in body, perfect in deed. Oh, that's when we shall rise around the throne of God and sing, redeemed at last. I ask of you, mighty God, brighten this hope within each and every one. Brighten this encouragement, God, in every sick person today. Oh, this body may be going through some situation you cannot maybe handle. The doctor have to give an aiding hand, but it's not complete. But, oh, God, we shall be complete one day. Help us to be like the Apostle Paul. Amen. Sight giving a problem. Hope seems vain. Testing on every side. But mighty God, he was encouraged by the Holy Spirit with him. I will give you the courage and the grace to go through. I beg of you to supply grace today, God. Oh, every bruised spirit, every wounded spirit, every broken heart, every broken spirit, God. And lift us up, God, so that we can walk closely with hope and with assurance that we shall rise and live by faith in God and will be led perfect at last to stand before his royal throne. Give everyone hope today, we pray, a fresh and a new. Almighty God, I ask for our children and grandchildren, lift them up, God. This is a time when young people, God, are, God, not fully understanding the depth of your mercy. But I beg of you, God, that we who are elders and live amongst them, help us to shed the light. Help us to bring them the hope. Oh, God, help us to bring them the, the trust that is we they have seen in us, that, that they can also learn to trust you. <laughs> Father God, remember our community, our society, and our world, our country. Oh, God, remember Jamaica in the name of Jesus. Remember all the islands of the sea. Remember all the major continents. Our oh, Lord, spread above all the globe. Mighty God, I ask of you the waters that cover the earth. Oh God, the sea and the rivers and all the other contributaries, oh God, that bring sources, oh God, from one continent to the other. Oh God, help us not to only hope in this life, but our hope is set on things above where Christ dwelleth on the right hand of God. Bless the church today, anoint afresh God with a new hope. A new spirit of, of trust in God uh, to bring us through all that we have to go through and bring us over on the side where the healing waters flow. Mighty God, bless every saint of God, every child of God with fresh courage. Ye fearful saints, uh, the clouds we so much dread are filled with mercy and will break with blessing upon our head. Baptize those who need to be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And you, those who are on the threshold wanting to come on this side, give them the banner of love. 
pass by like you pass by and saw by the seaside men fishing with their father, but you said to them, come, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Would you pass by somebody's house today? Pass by on Zoom today. Pass by in our community, God. Snatch them like a branch from the burning. Yes, yes, that you are. Come, God, they will make their willingness in their body, in their heart, in their soul to follow you. Bless the church service today and bless all that we must do to glorify you. We ask these blessings and say thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. At this time, I will hand over to our moderator, Minister Bird. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Let us just put our hands together and give the Lord a hand clap this morning, beloved one. Glory to God. God has been good to us. Praise the Lord. The psalmist said, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? He said, I will take the cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, the Lord. <laughs> Praise him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. I just want to, uh, my name is Minister Bird. I'm your moderator for today as pastor. I've already indicated. And I just want to greet our, greet the Holy Spirit today. The Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Spirit. I just want to invite them in our presence. They have already been here, but we want to keep them here, beloved ones. Amen. Because yeah. without they being in our presence, then everything would just fall flat. Praise God. Amen. And so I just want to greet uh, our bishop and minister folks, our host pastor, Pastor Spence and Evangelist Spence, Pastor Brian and Evangelist Brian, and uh, our deacon Paul, and the rest of brethren, those from Faith Temple, I just want to greet you in the name of Jesus. And our beloved ones that are on Zoom this morning, I just want to let you know how much we appreciate you being here, worshiping the Lord with us today. Yes. Praise God. Your presence means much to us. Praise God. We don't see you uh, as where, where I am. I cannot see you. But I know you are here. And the only purpose for you being in our service today, you could be otherwise minded. You could go gone about your business. Many things you could have been doing. But you chose to come in and to sit and to worship the Lord with us today. Amen. And we just want you to know that we appreciate it. We, we don't take these things lightly, beloved ones. Because in these days when people are get, have, have become so so busy. And even though sometimes they say they don't have any money, but we're always out doing something, shopping and maybe doing some window shopping or something. Praise God. You might be sitting down fixing dinner, but you chose to tune in and to listen and we, we appreciate it. Praise God. May God continue to bless you and to reward you <laughs> richly. Amen. Praise God. At this time, we are going to have a, a, a song, a praise and worship song. Um, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, there is something about that Master, Savior, Jesus. Like a fragrance 
Both that Wonderful name. about oh, that name. Amen. Something marvelous, something special about that name. name, the name of Jesus. The Bible says the mighty power, glory to God, and the righteous run into him, and they and are it. saved. Praise God. We are going to ask Pastor Brian kindly pray for us. And Deacon will come forth with the reading of the day's lesson. Well, friend, we have in Jesus all our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege we have to carry everything to God in prayer. Thank you. Most righteous, Thank you. eternal God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, our Savior, and our soon coming King. We come this morning, in this moment, God, approach your mercy seat with a heart of sincere gratitude for our lives that you have spared to see another day. This is the day that you have made, and your word declared that we should rejoice and be glad in this day. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that you kept us as we slept last night, and your mercy, yes. which are new again today, and we celebrate this moment in time because we are alive and we are well. You woke us up this morning in our right mind. We have all the ligaments and we have all the activities of our limbs that we can move our hands, we can stamp our feet, and we can give you praise, and we can give you worship in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. And so, Lord, as we start our service, God, we first welcome your presence among your people today. And we ask that you'll just take full control of the service today. Yes. Father, we still the hands of the avenger. We still the hand of the, men, the enemy. We pray, oh God, even as we join via Zoom channel today, we ask you, oh God, that the reception will be wonderful. We ask that the reception will be perfect so we can hear, we can see, and we can hear what others have to say as we all participate in this service. Father, we pray, oh God, for everyone today, our moderator. We pray, oh, for a deacon who will continue to come, Amen. Sister Samantha, and all those that will come each Sunday after Sunday, week after week, to allow this platform that we yes. can come together as, as a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. We may not be able to go in the physical building, but we still Lord. thankful that we can meet. Thank you. And exalt the name of Jesus. Thank oh, you, Lord. oh God, because you are food us of this platform, oh God, because we are the body of Christ, not a physical building. And we thank you, God, for this platform. We thank you, God, for this wonderful fellowship, oh. knowing that you're present uh, in uh, it was, you know, yeah. you know that we're two or three are gathered in your name. Oh. You are in the midst as your word declared. And so, God, we welcome you in the midst of your people today, that you will have your way. You will use us according to your perfect will as we surrender to hear what the Spirit has to say to the churches and today. Blessed leadership, the members of this church, have your way today, Holy Ghost, in amongst your people as we celebrate the greatness that you have given us and the hope that we have in Christ Jesus as we anticipate the redemption of your people. Have your way today. Speak to us. Cleanse us from all sin and unrighteousness, God. Bless us, we pray today. Oh, God, leave nothing unturned, Father. Search our hearts. Search us, oh, God. Search us and cleanse us as we heal to the mercy seat today. And we ask you, Lord, have your way, have your way, as we surrender to your will today. Mm. Bless our service again, we pray, with thanksgiving. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let me turn our Bibles to Hebrews, the 11th chapter. Praise the Lord. And when we find it, may we all say amen. 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 Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Amen. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do, which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts. And by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony, that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. 
For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with care, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed. And he went out, not knowing where he went. By faith, he sojourned into the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with, with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. Therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. Thirteen and last, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them are off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the Praise Lord. God. Your hands reading of Praise God's the Lord. word. We honor it by saying, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, no one ever shall be. World, world without end. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that are with it. Bless his holy name. Praise God. Praise God. I too greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand before you today to bring the day's um, announcements. Praise God. And I will start with, praise God, our fasting on prayer on Monday. Praise God. We're already in service today. We had Sunday school prior. And oh, tomorrow, yeah. well, our Sunday school begins at 11 o'clock for those who have not known. 11 a.m. sharp, praise God. And we end at 12, followed by our midday worship service, which is going on now. On Mondays, Faith Temple, fast and pray. We set aside Mondays where we all come together to fast and pray, praise God, to God Almighty, because that's where we get our answer. That's where Jesus has the answer for the world today. Oh, yes. So Amen. we all are being reminded and we are inviting each and every one who would like to join us. You're free to do so. Praise God. The topic for tomorrow's fasting, tomorrow, April 26. Our scripture for the fasting is taken from Psalm 46. Again, Psalm 46. Praise God. The topic is God, the refuge of his people and conqueror of the nations. Again, the topic is God, the refuge of his people and conqueror of the nations. Praise God. He's almighty God. Praise God. And also to let you know that on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. sharp, 8 to 9 p.m., we have our Bible study. Please invite someone to join. If you have been there before, I'm sure that you have heard the word. I'm sure you have something, a takeaway that you can share with others. And so please tell somebody about Faith Temple's Bible study and invite them to join. We join with the same information as we use for our service that we are on now. Praise God. 
Praise God. The church's mailing address, P.O. Box 120, 435, St. Albans, New York, 11412. All this information will be in the chat, so you are free to look it up. Praise God. Please send, continue to send your correspondences, your prayer requests, your tithes, your offerings. Praise God. And so you know, Faith Temple, Church of God, appreciate you. Appreciate you. And may God continue to bless you. Praise God. Our church's Praise. cash app is faith temple ch dot of god at gmail.com faith temple ch dot of god at gmail.com praise god i know i've said a mouthful if there is anything that you need clarifications on please indicate praise god in the chat and we will be happy to provide it to you praise god at this time I think our pastor would like to say something. So please bear with me. Praise God. Okay, praise God. Those who have not been sending in their tithes and their offerings, praise God, we welcome you to do so. Praise God, because the Father will certainly reward you. We cannot reward you. Faith temple cannot reward you. Praise God. But Almighty God will reward you. He will reward you, praise God. And so we advise you, praise God, to please do so. Praise the name of Jesus. We worship the Lord in many forms. We worship him when we sing the songs of Zion. We clap our hands. We stamp our feet. We shout hallelujah in the highest. Praise God. We, we, we send out the word of Almighty God. We give our tithes and our offering. We give our contributions, praise God. We worship the Lord in so many forms. It's limitless. So praise God. Let us join our hands and hearts together and we, as we worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Praise God. At this time, I take great pleasure in handing back the service to our moderator, Minister Bird, in care of the Holy Ghost. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Praise God. Oh, we worship the Lord and we thank praise our evangelists Lord. for giving us, <clears throat> reminding us and, you know, for all these things and giving us our notice for, notices for today. Praise the Lord. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to ask Sister Osborne, please to pray for the tithes and the offering as we worship the Lord with okay. them today. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Bless the Lord. Let us all stand for the blessing of the offering. Oh, yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you this morning. We praise and we glorify you. We honor you this morning, God. Father God, we send up our praises, our songs to you, our praises to you, oh God, as our, as our sacrifice, God. And now, Lord, we are handing to you the offering that we have collected today, oh God, the offering to further the work for your kingdom. Father God, I, pray, I thank you for each and every person, oh God, who, oh God, who lift their offering up to you. Father, I pray, God, that you will bless it, oh God. And I pray, God, that you will multiply it this morning, almighty God. And Father God, I pray that you will give back to your servants, oh God, as they, oh God, offer back to you. Father God, for those who do not have to give this morning, Father God, I know that you are a provider, God, and I trust you this morning to provide for them, God, that they too will, oh God, come giving back to you, oh God, as you have given unto them. Father, we bless you today, God, and we give you thanks in Jesus' mighty name, and we say amen and amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. At this time, beloved ones, we have a, a, a very special prayer request. Amen. And I'm going to ask Pastor Spence to do this for us. We're going to pray for Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Grenadines, 
recovering from the devastation of the volcano. India, which has now become the hot spot for the coronavirus. I saw them the other day on the telly, Vision was watching, where they don't even have place to do their cremation. They have to be using the parks to do their mass cremation because they have so many deaths over there in India. And we also want to pray for the United States of America. We want to pray for our young men and our young women. Beloved ones, we are losing too many of them. Yes. And so we want to pray and ask God to have mercy. Amen. Before Pastor Let us pray. Praise God. God, Praise God. Still answers prayer. Praise God. When we get down on our knees and pray. Hallelujah. God is our oh, refuge and strength. A very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea. But praise God, there is a river. Hallelujah, Jesus. Aye. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today, mighty God, asking you at this time, God, to wash me, mighty Savior. Cleanse me, mighty God, from all unrighteousness. Oh, yes. Cleanse my heart, search my heart, almighty God, <clears throat> and make it pure before you, mighty Savior. Lord God, at this time, oh God, there are people in other countries, oh God, around the world, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and all the other all the countries, oh God, who are facing problems, oh God, with the pandemic at this time. Lord, we lift them up before you, Lord Jesus. Knowing, mighty God, that you still answer prayer. Knowing, mighty God, that you are the conqueror of the lion of the tribe of Judah. God Almighty, you seek, oh God Almighty, the things that are affecting us, oh God, and you, mighty Savior, if we cry out to you, God, we know, mighty Savior divine, that you will make it right by your people. Lord Jesus, we experience, oh God, the things that they are going through last year, even in this country. God, and we know the extremity of it, eternal Father. But mighty God, today, Lord Jesus, we are sending a prayer for our brothers and sisters who are living in countries, oh God, affected by the same thing, oh mighty Savior. Today, mighty God, we ask, dear Jesus Christ, that you will send down, oh mighty God, from heaven your healing touch upon the land, Almighty God, where these people are, eternal Father. Yes. And I pray, mighty God, that as the Holy Spirit move through these places, Almighty God, oh God, they will see, oh God Almighty, a resurgence, oh God Almighty, of good living, of good health, eternal Father. Lord God, we bring them before you, mighty Savior, and the things, oh God, that we can even speak for ourselves, almighty God, we pray that the Holy Spirit, oh God, will come down and it will grow, and the Holy Spirit, oh God, will groan, 
oh God, for us because you know the groanings of our hearts. Oh, Lord oh, Jesus, God. as for Jamaica and the crime and violence against women and children, oh mighty God, we bring these people before you, mighty Savior. Mm. And we ask, dear God Almighty, that you will make a shift, oh God, in that country. Lord God, I pray that you will bring, oh God Almighty, these men, oh God, who are killing these people, oh mighty Savior, for no reason, oh mighty God. I pray, mighty God, that you will touch their very heart. You will speak to them, oh mighty Savior. Even when, mighty God, they are on the verge of committing, oh God, the crime, the Lord God, you will speak to them, dear Jesus Christ, I pray. Father God, we are depending on you. We are depending on you to take control of the land, oh God. We are depending on you, almighty Savior, oh God, to bring people to their knees. So that they can confess, oh God, before you. Lord God, I pray that the young men of the country, turn on Father God, will heed the call, oh God, of the preachers and the teachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm. Mighty God, we pray, dear God, that you will, Lord God, make a shift in the life of these people. <clears throat> We see, God, that the enemy comes. And the enemy comes only to do one thing. Oh, God, to steal and to destroy your people. Oh, yes, Lord. And to bring people to a debtor's hell, eternal God. <clears throat> but most righteous God, you came, Jesus, so that we can have life and have life more abundantly, dear God. And so today, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray today that you will cover these countries, oh God, under your blood. <coughs> Let the preachers, oh God, and the people who teaches the great gospel, let them bow down before you, God, and, and bring these countries, oh God, that they're living in before you, Jesus. Because, God, we need divine help. We need divine intervention. Because, God Almighty, we cannot do it without you, God. Oh. Help! Help, oh. Jesus, help! Yes, Lord. Help, mighty God, we need help! Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Holy Comforter, we need help! Yes, Lord. Help, Lord Jesus. We see how the enemy goes into the homes, oh God, of the people. And the enemy tries its very best, oh God, to destroy and to demolish family settings, oh mighty Savior. Mm. Today, mighty God, we call the Holy Spirit's attention. Oh, to the enemy, Almighty God. Oh, yes, Lord. And we bring down the Holy Spirit of God into this situation. Yes. We call again for help, Almighty God. We call for help, O Lord Jesus. Help the countries, O God, in their dilemmas. Help Jamaica. Help the Grenadines. Help St. Vincent. Help Barbados, yes. help Grenada, help America, help London, England, Almighty God, help Canada, than the various countries, Almighty Savior. Lord God, we believe in you. And we believe that you can do what no other can do. When it seems so impossible, Almighty God, you can make it possible, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. God Almighty, the leaders of the country, I pray in the name of Jesus that the Holy Spirit will get a hold of them. God Almighty, let them invite you to sit at the table because without you, God, they cannot do anything oh, yes. of consequence. Lord, 
hear our cry, hear our plea. As we look to you, Lord Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Lord, we ask that you will that you will go with us, walk with us wherever we go. You lead God and we will follow. Lord Jesus, we are depending on you because you know more than us what we need. We are depending on you, Jesus. Today we ask these mercies. Today we ask of these mercies, Almighty oh God. God. Oh God, today we ask of these mercies. Yes, Only Lord. in your name with oh, thanksgiving. Yes, amen and amen. Amen. Glory to God. Let's put our hands together, beloved ones. Let's put our hands together. Glory to God. Glory to God. Almighty God, we are in Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. And I just want to thank everyone for coming out today, praise God, to listen, to join in in this worship service today. Praise God. <clears throat> Bless the name of Jesus. At the end of the preaching, at the end of the preaching, <clears throat> I'm going to ask our evangelist Brian to close the service for us. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise God. And so my brothers and sisters, praise God, with no further ado, praise God, I'm going to bring the speaker to you. Praise, praise God. The Lord. Praise Amen. God. A young man, a young man who loves the Lord <clears throat> oh, yes. and seeks to do the will of the Lord. <clears throat> praise God. And I know that the Lord have greatest things in store for him. Praise God. Bless his holy name. Praise God. So today I bring to you, praise God, no other person than our pastor, Pastor Brian, who's going to break the bread of life to us today. Praise God. So congregation, praise God, Pastor Brian. Pastor Brian, the congregation, the great church of God. Glory. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you Praise so much, um, Master Spence, for that wonderful introduction. God. God be the glory. Great things he has done. Truly, I give honor to God, who's uh, head of my life, to Bishop Folks and his wife, to my pastor, Pastor Spence, Evander Spence, Minister Bird, uh, Deacon Bird, and to my best friend that I've known for over 39 years. That's my wonderful wife, Evangelist Brian. Amen. And to all the brethren that's online, Faith Temple family, and to those who might be visiting for the first time or the second time, I want to greet you this morning, or this afternoon rather, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our personal Savior. Amen? Amen. I see that the time is going fast, so I'm not going to keep it too long. Oh, yes. Yeah. If you have your Bibles quickly, I'm not too sure how much time do I have, but it's now 120, 124. If you have your Bibles quickly, turn to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Praise 2 God. Corinthians chapter 4, and Minister Bird and, and Bishop Folks pretty much uh, preach all of my message that, that, that I had in mind to preach. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been thinking about this word evangelist spent for the last two weeks uh, seeking God. And when I heard Minister Bird, you know, in the Sunday school, he, he, you know, talking about uh, this message, I said, oh, my goodness, I, I, I could just take my seat and go back to bed. But, but God is good. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter four. And um, I, I wanted was to read from verse one, but I'm, I'm going to go down to verse uh, seven, if you will, all the way to verse number 18. Second Corinthians chapter four, reading from verse, from verse number seven until the end of that text there. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. 
For we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despaired. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which are alive always deliver unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise us up also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. <clears throat> Why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You may, you may be seated in the presence of God. Are you looking for a subject? And, and I want to spend most of my time in verse number seven and also verse number... 16. My subject on this afternoon is Do you have this treasure? The Apostle Paul, in his first writing to the Corinthian church, his first letter, is talking about issues in the church and solutions. Mm. In 2 Corinthians, the letter that he wrote to the church primarily speaks about the suffering. And so we see in this text or this letter that Paul is writing to the church in Corinth. Corinth is located in the southern part of Greece. So he's writing to the church. Mm -hmm. And he says, you have this treasure in earth and vessels. Mm -hmm. And he's telling them based on what was happening, the false teachers and all the different uh, um, controversies that was happening in the church, he's right to them, let them know that they have a treasure. Yes. And so as I preach this message, I, I want to engage the church and let you know if you will remember, I remind that you have a treasure. Now the question is, what is a treasure? The, the dictionary gives a meaning and it, and it speaks about something that is of great value are a person esteemed as a rare precious. But he says, we have this treasure, we have this precious cargo inside of us. Oh my goodness. He says, you have to understand that we have this treasure. And so when he's writing and he's talking about specifically about the suffering of the believer, he's reminding them regardless of how you feel or what is happening in your world, you have a treasure. Oh, uh, yes. It's easy for me to preach Proverbs chapter 10 and 18 that says, the blessing of the Lord make it rich. And he added no sorrow. It's hard when you work all week and to come into a place and I hear the preacher is talking about suffering, but suffering is no way for us to live a Christian life and exempt from suffering of this world. Jesus made it clear when he talks about this in John 16, 33. He said, in me, you will have peace. Yes. But in, but in the world, you will have tribulations. That's right. But he says, be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. We don't want to talk about suffering. People want to hear messages that, that tickle their ears. People want to hear messages that tell them, okay, you're going to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen. 
but I need to know when trials and trouble come in my life, how do I handle myself when all hell is breaking loose in my life, Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday? That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. My goodness. Bill Gates designed the computers. And in so doing, Bill Gates gave us a manual how to operate the computer. Steve Jobs, he came out with Apple. Mm -hmm. And there's all sorts of products. And every one of those products, there's a manual that tells us how to operate those gadgets. That's right. The Bible takes, speaks to us about suffering and how we are to handle ourselves when trials and tribulation come. That's right. Mm. Let me look at something here. In the second chapter of 2 Corinthians, verse number four. Take a note for me, please. He says here, 2 Corinthians chapter two, verse number four, Paul says, for out of much affliction and anguish of all I wrote unto you with many tears. Not that you should be grieved, but that you might know that the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Hmm. Paul says, because I know that I have a treasure. And he said, the treasure now reside or occupied in earth and vessel. The earth and vessel is talking about you and I. We are earth and vessel. Or maybe as she said, we are just vessels of clay that call Jesus Christ in the person of the Holy Ghost. Do you yeah. know that you have a treasure? That's and right. Then oh, yeah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus make no mistake when he says, any man come up to me, let him take up and cross, deny himself and follow me. Follow this him. life as a Christian, That's we right. cannot live this life and avoid suffering. It's not going to happen. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be a part of a group that does not anticipate suffering in this life. Whether you are a believer or you are unbeliever, suffering is a part of this life. That's right. But I need to know when there are issues comes in my life, I need to have a manual that navigate me and tell me what to do. The Bible says pray without ceasing. The psalmist says I will look to the hills from whence coming my help. My help coming from the Lord. That's all right. Yes. Praise the Lord. So he Praise points God. out the earth and vessels, talking about you and I. And in order for me and you to pre for me to preach this, look at something in, in Colossians chapter number two, verse number 25 and 28. Colossians chapter 2, 25 to 27. Paul says, we are of I am made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. It says, even the ministry which had been in from ages and from generation, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of God, mean that Christ resides in our hearts and vessels. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said the mystery has been now received, uh, been now revealed to the church, revealed to the saints. That Christ in you is the hope of Lord. glory. Do you know that you have a treasure? Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so he said, what was hidden from ages is now revealed to the saints. Babes and suckling. And he says, he says, which is Christ in you, it means and Christ dwell in our earth and vessels. Mm. A vessel is a water bottle. Inside this water bottle, there is water. This is a container that holds the water in this bottle. The Holy Ghost chooses to reside in you and I when we accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. And Paul said, yes, we have this treasure that resides in earth and vessels. 
Even though the vessel sometimes has some issues, the Holy Ghost decides to take residency in the life of the believer. Yes. yes. The Apostle Paul says, he says, listen. He says, we, he used it plural, he said, we. We are troubled on every side, verse number eight. Yes. Yet I'm not distressed, meaning I'm not sorrowful. Mm -hmm. We are perplexed, meaning I'm confused, but I'm not in despair. Mm -hmm. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Why? Because I have an earth and vessel, and Christ resides in my life. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, praise the Lord. Yes. And even though Jesus Christ is in my life, I'm not immune from going through suffering. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Folks nowadays, they don't want to talk about suffering. People want to be blessed. People want to be healed, and rightly so. But suffering, make no mistake, is a part of the believer's life. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Job got sick. When you look at Job in the Old Testament, look at the Apostle Paul in the New Testament, I, I could make a parallel between these two men of God. Job was a righteous man, the Bible tells us about his lifestyle, and Job got sick. Oh. And the Bible let us know that Job had three friends that came to look for him, and when they came and saw Job's condition, they, they started to accuse Job of doing evil. They could not understand because it was not revealed to them that God was just using Job to set his yeah. name to come. Man, Jesus. They said Job must have done evil because in mm. other words, what was, what was uh, facing Job, he had to have done evil for God to afflict, not realizing that God was using Job. That's right. As yeah. an example, as a righteous man. Yes. <laughs> when he studied church history, Great Temple Church. You will see all that the Apostle Paul went through. And you see time and time again when you go to the book of Acts. And it's where you see time and time that, 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 that the, the Holy Ghost have to revisit Paul to encourage him. In other words, Paul wanted to walk away. But every now and then the word shows up to propel him into purpose. Yeah. That's why it's important for us to yeah. hear the word preach. God. We cannot live this life unless we have the word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. Look what he says here in Romans. Look what he says here in Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Verse number 11. Are you there? Yeah. Um, Paul says, yeah. Romans chapter 8, 11, Paul says, But if the spirit of him that raise up Jesus from the dwell, dwell in you. He that raise up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that dwells in you. In other words, even if you're sick in your flesh, because the Holy Ghost, which is the treasure residing, the Lord tell me to preach that he will quicken your physical body because he has a plan and purpose for your life. Amen. Lord. Yes. Even though your physical body might be might, might, might be falling apart, he says in your mortal body, the same power that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, the same power is going to quicken your mortal body. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, when Moses came down in Exodus 30, when Moses came down, and I'm going a little fast here, from, from the Mount Sinai after speaking to God. Moses had a veil over his face. Yes. Mm. Folks, they could not look on Moses' face because there was a difference in Moses' appearance. They were yeah. afraid. Yes, to look at When you are in the presence of God or when the Spirit of God dwelling in you, there's, there, there's some radiance about your personality. Amen. Mm. You know, hear what I'm saying? Uh, Christ living in you, man. You look good, man. Yes. 
oh my goodness. Yes, Amen. Some people sometimes they see you and they say, oh my goodness, there's something about you and they're talking about, they don't understand that it's, it's, it's a treasure that resides right. in you. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. God. When you understand, when you understand this principle that, that the treasure that you have inside of you, you will stop the complaining, man. Amen. Oh my my head preacher. Oh, weeping may endure for a oh, night of joy. Come in the morning. Can I have joy when I'm mourning? Yes, because you have a treasure inside of you that will give you the strength and will comfort you in your time of suffering and mourning. Praise God. That's right. Because the mystery, the mystery, the mystery has been revealed to the churches. So Paul writes to the church. And he says here, he said, listen, man, all things is for your sakes. Mm -hmm. And he said that the abundant grace, my true thanksgiving, I many you read down. The word read down means something added to your account, man. Oh, my goodness. God. There's some things that God wants to add in your behalf. Mm hmm Yes. When you understand that the suffering that you're going through, it's not about you, no. It's for you to glorify God in your suffering, oh, man. Yes. Amen. <clears throat> Praise God. Let me say it again. The suffering that you're going through, mm -hmm. not everybody is going through the same troubles, you know. There's some people mm -hmm. are going through financial situation. There's some people are going through sickness. There's some people that are going through loneliness. There's some people are going through depression and all kinds of different things that, that this mm -hmm. life presents. Why do you think the scripture said, count it on a joy when you find yourself in these situations? Praise God. Yes. Praise when you look God. at the first John chapter 4 and 4, he said, Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Do you understand that you have a treasure in your life? Hallelujah. God. The treasure in your life is not about you. That's why Jesus told the church to stay there and do until the Holy Spirit comes that would endow them with power. You cannot live this Christian life unless you have the Holy Ghost, unless you have Jesus Christ in your life. Amen. Who is the author and the finisher of your faith? Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, so look, at, look what he says here in verse 8. He said, For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. You think that your life is about you? You have it wrong, man. When you have Jesus Christ in your life, it's not about you. It's about Jesus Christ now living his life through you. Mm. <laughs> yes. For we which are alive always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest Manifold. in your mortal flesh. Um, the things you are going through, it's not because of you. Jesus is demonstrating something in your life. Amen. And it's not happening in your spirit. It's happening in your mortal flesh. It's happening in your body. Yes. Your friends that could not understand what was going on in his life, but we understand suffering is a part of the believer's life. Uh, part oh, yeah. of the believer's oh, yeah. landscape. Amen. So then that work in us, but life in you. Oh. And we have in the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. I come to speak to them and let you know that what's going on in your flesh, what's going on in the body, the sickness and all that thing that is going in your life. Paul says there's trouble on every side. I Yet I'm not I distressed. Am. We are perplexed. perplexed. I'm not despair, persecuted, but I'm not forsaken. Cast down, but I'm not destroyed. Amen. Because I have a treasure inside of me. Hallelujah. So while Paul was on his way, when you look in the book of Acts, that's why Paul could say what he wrote in the text. And he said, no matter what that is going on in my life, no matter what is going on in my life, I'm going to continue to do what God has called me to do because of his revelation that he got on the road to Damascus. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You, Amen. Remember, you remember David? 
Remember David? David became king, not only over the northern, but also the southern part of Israel. Yes. And David now is enjoying the kingdom life as a king in, in, in the palace there. And Nathan the prophet came to, to David and explained some situation that he had in his life. Yes, sir. And when he told him, David wrote Psalms 51. Yes. And he said, create in me a clean heart. And he said, renew the right, right spirit within me. He said, cast me not away from thy presence. Yes. And he says, not the Holy Spirit from me. In other words, what David was experiencing, David was not experiencing God in the season. Oh my goodness. Can you get me second? Samuel chapter 6. Second Samuel chapter 6. Second Samuel chapter 6, verse 12 to 14, please. And it was told King David, saying, The Lord has blessed the house of Abadiam and all that pertinent unto him. Because of the ark of God, so David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obedium into the city of David with gladness. And it was so that when they that bear the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed oxen and fatlings. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a linen ephod. Amen. Thank you so much, Ibanez. So David realized that something is missing in his life. That's right. And David realized that the Ark of the Covenant was not in the palace. Oh my goodness, I wish I had time. Mm -hmm. And when David attempted to bring the Ark of the Covenant back into Israel, he made a mistake the first time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the Bible said that the Ark of the Covenant was in Abinadad for 20 years. Mm -hmm. And when he decided to take the Ark back to Israel, into Jerusalem, he had a breach, and we know that Yuzah died. But the Bible said that when, we, when he heard that God blessed Eden because the Ark of the Covenant was in Edom house, David said, no, 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 I have to get back the presence of God into my life. Oh, my God. When you understand oh, yes. that is in your life, no matter yeah. what is going on, that's where the apostle Paul says, he said, we are troubled on every side. That's but I'm right. not We are perplexed, but I'm not yes. destroyed. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Not destroyed. Bless him, Lord. David realizes he's missing the presence of God in his life, even though he is a king and of all authority yes. in, in the palace. When he heard that God bless the host, and all that he had in Obidium, he went and he retrieved the Ark of the Covenant, which represents the presence of God. When you and I have the Holy Ghost, when you have the person of Jesus Christ reside in your heart, no matter what is going on at work, no matter what is going on in your home, no matter what is going on in your church, no matter what is going on in your life, Jesus Christ resides in your life. Amen. God. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And when you understand that suffering is a part of the journey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't want to get sick and go to the hospital. You know, I wish I could tell you anything else. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Romans, go back to Romans chapter 8, verse number 18. Paul says, I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall reveal in us. Paul said, I recognize that we have to go through some suffering in this life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let me say it again. He said, I reckon that the suffering mm -hmm. of this present, he's not talking about past tense or future tense. He yes. says, well, I reckon that the suffering of this present moment are not yes. worthy yes. to be compared with the glory that shall re reveal in yes. us. Right. He did not exclude himself from the suffering. Uh, I could stay all afternoon and talk about the suffering of the Apostle Paul. Oh my goodness. But yet still Paul, he said, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not despair. 
Paul is saying, I'm not, I'm not cast down, I'm not destroyed. Oh my goodness. Mm. And when you look at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 1, I'm almost done. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse number 19, Paul asks a question, man. He start verse number 19 in 1 Corinthians chapter 6. Are you there? Yes. Amen. Look what he says. He says, what? You could tell his, his, his attitude. He said, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in yes. you, which you have of God, and that you are not your own? He's asking a question, sir. Don't you know that your body belongs to the temple of God? He's yes. asking a question. My God. When you get the revelation, then you understand the psalmist when he said, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. David started to dance when the presence of God came back in his life. Oh my goodness. Hallelujah. At verse 20, he said, for you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. You're not hear what I'm saying. I'm not talking about glorify God in your spirit or your soul, you know. <laughs> Your body. Hallelujah. Body. He says, For you are brought with a price. Yes. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are of God's. In other words, then you and I are God's property, man. <laughs> oh, yes. The Apostle Paul is telling the church. Because the church is up under attack from false preachers and he's trying to hand, let them know what is happening. He says, don't you know? As a child of God, you have to understand that your body is not yours. Okay. And he says, your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you. Let me read that again. He says, don't you know that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you? which you have of God, and it's not your own. Mm. Sometimes yeah. we think that, let me, let me paraphrase that. Sometimes we think that we are the only one can preach. Yes. Sometimes we think that we are the only one can sing. Yes. We are the only one can dress nice. We are the only one can speak nice. No, 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 no. Everything about you has to be subjected to Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. He is the one that resides yeah. in this in this in this mortal flesh. Sometimes I hear people give them testimony and all them talk about is all about them. What about them? No, 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 no. We need to talk more about Jesus Christ. Oh yes. That's why in in, in the entrance uh, introduction to this text here, it he, he, he was so profound. It says, oh, yeah. "Therefore, seeing that we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, he said, we faint not." But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is it from them that are lost, in whom the God of this world had blinded minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Christ right. Jesus, the Lord, and ourselves, your servant for Jesus' sake. So in other words, when we preach, we must preach Jesus Christ and him crucified and stop yes. preaching oh. about ourselves. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, Job's friend, they came down, Minister Bird, and they came down, and when they saw how Job's skin started to start to disintegrate, they started to accuse the man of God. Because they didn't mm -hmm. understand what was going on in his life. They, they, they start to accuse him. I said, well, he must have done something evil. And so sometimes if we're not careful, we find ourselves in the same situation where something are happening in our life. And sometimes church folks who want to, want to condemn you and I, you know, saying, what is that going on in his life? He must have done something evil. Why are all his children is doing all that kind of stuff? Why his children are getting in trouble? Why are these bad things is, is happening in his life? Look at his children, them. His children, them, they're all over the place. And so we, we, we start to pin our, our, own, our own interpretation and don't understand the complexity of what God is doing. All things work together for good for those who love God and to those who are God. called according to his purpose. We have a treasure inside of us. Let's 
Hallelujah. Yes, praise God. the Lord. Yes. yes, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Suffering is a part of the journey of the believer's life. Suffering is a part of the experience of the Christian faith. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. You don't want to hear suffering, priest, then don't come back on this Zoom channel, man. This is not, not going to tell you about get rich scream. No, no, no. This is not the church. If that was a church, Pastor Brian would not join this church. But this is a church that would preach the adultery realm of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded yes. out of the mouth of God. In order for you and I to live, we have to have the word of God in our life. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Paul says it for gospel be hid. He hid from them who the enemy has blinded their eyes. Listen, we have an enemy, man, that is strong, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving credence to them, you know, but don't underrate the devil, you know. He said it blinded right. some of the eyes of these people so they cannot see this glorious yes. God. Yes. Amen. 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 Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And so when you understand, when you understand that you have this precious cargo, when you understand that you have Jesus, you know, your life, and when you go to work and you say to yourself, like, how is it that the manager, how is it that the supervisor, how is it that these people, they, they, these people are attacking me? If they persecuted Jesus, see them like that, they would persecute you and I. <laughs> oh, yes. Let me say it again. If they persecuted Jesus, it's the same way they'll persecute you and I because we're living for Christ. Christ is in us. Not everyone going to Accept you and I. Uh, and so much you and I is the Jesus Christ that's in us that they are rejecting. Amen. Have you ever I've ever been given out some Bible tracks and, and people you give them the tracks and they take the Bible track and just throw it away right in front of your face? <laughs> I, I used to give out Bible tracks years ago, you know. And I used to get so upset. Mm -hmm. I give out the Bible tracks and these people take the Bible track from me. And they take the Bible tracks and they throw it away right in front of me. And I said, oh, my goodness, if these people understand what's inside of these tracks and they throw it away. And I used to get upset. But there are some people don't want to hear nothing about Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. And so when we understand as a people of God, when we understand as a church, and we understand that the treasure that we have in earth and vessel, the treasure that we have inside of us, and it says that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. This precious car, this precious treasure that you and I walking around with, it's not about you or me. It's about Jesus Christ who is doing a work in our life to bring about an excellent glory to his kingdom. Mm. So Paul remind us that we have this treasure man in earth and vessel. Earth and vessel. And so even though we have this treasure inside this earth and vessel, this messed up clay, this this this, 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 this crooked vessel, have some issues in this vessel, but the Holy Ghost is still in my life, man. Mm. Praise God. <laughs> And when you understand that principle, you understand that you, you, you can go through life. And so when you look at Paul, say, Paul said, even though the trouble is propelling in my life, man, he said, I'm not going to get distressed about it. He said, we, we are confused so many times. But he said, I'm not despair, man. He said, I'm puzzled and I'm confused. Mm -hmm. All these things is going on in my life, in my little bubble here. But he said, I'm persecuted, you know. All these things are coming at me. But he said, I know that I'm not forsaken. Because how can I be forsaken when I have this treasure inside of me? Mm. The scripture said in Hebrews chapter 13, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. What does it mean? It means that everywhere I go, Jesus is with me, man. Amen. Amen. Pastor Spence, when, when David understood, sir, that, that something was missing in his life, even though he's in this royal palace in Jerusalem, Pastor Spence, David heard that, that, that God has, has blessed the house of, of, of a heathen man. Yes. And when he realized and he understood the, 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 the presence of God, he, he ran and got the ark of the covenant because he wanted the presence of God back in his life. That's the reason why he wrote Psalm 51. Yes. He wanted the presence of God in his life. 
Yeah. And when the yeah. of God came back in his life, he saw he danced off him close till his wife got offended. Mm. Because she did not understand the presence of God. Amen. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. And he says, he says, he says oh, some things that we have to renounce, man. Paul said we have to re renounce something. There's some little thing called dishonesty that we have to renounce out of this, this, this mortal flesh, man. <laughs> oh, yes. Look, look in the text, it's there, you know. Look at look at verse number two. He said you have to get rid of some little thing, some some little some oh, little yes. thing in the life. He said you have to renounce it. Hmm. It, it, it. It's telling you because you have this treasure. There's something in your mortal flesh that you have to get rid. Some people are still deceitful, man. Hmm. Oh, yes. oh my God. God. There's some people God. are dishonest. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I'm I'm talking to myself. Oh, he says, but I've renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. Deceitfully. You can't be handling the word of God and you're crooked and you're dishonest and you're deceitful. No, 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 no. You have a treasure and you have to renounce some hidden things that inside this mortal flesh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. You have a treasure. That's why the Holy Ghost is there to convict. Oh, That's why the Holy amen. Ghost is in the light to lead us into all truth and also to convict us of sin. Amen. amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so when I look at this message and I heard Minister Bird this man speak, I said, Oh my goodness, I don't have to preach like how oh, I would normally preach because he already talked about my, my message. Let me yeah. remind the church, man. I wish I could tell you that, that in this life you will not have no suffering. Mm -mm. Jesus paid it all, and because Jesus paid it all, all you have to do wake up every morning and go in the living room and sit and cut your tent. I wish I could preach that message and tell you. I wish I could preach and tell you how taste and see Lord that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted him. But in this life, we have tribulation. In this life, that's why Jesus told the early church. John chapter 16, 33, he said, you will have tribulation in this life. Yes. And he said, when tribulation comes, he, he did not ask the question. He said, be of good cheer. That's right. Because I have overcome the world. And because I have overcome the world, no, I reside in you in the form of the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. Thank goodness. you, Lord. Thank you. The mystery, the mystery, the mystery has been revealed to the saints. Don't you look at Colossians. He said this mystery was hidden from ages, but now it's revealed to the saints. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you say about Pastor Brian, no matter what you say about Pastor Brian and, and, and all the different things that Jesus Christ still resides in my heart. Amen. Because the mystery has been revealed to me. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that to him that the wow. world might be saved. Now Pastor Brian is saved by the shed blood of Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago. Yes, the mystery has been revealed to me. Hallelujah. Amen. So when suffering come my way, I'm not asking for suffering. I'm not paying for it. I'm not begging for suffering. But I can run to the scriptures and see how Job, when the suffering came and they came, Job said, oh, he slay me yet. Yet will I, I trust, trust him. him. Because Job understood that God had the capability to restore. Oh, my goodness. Praise God. God has the capacity to heal him. He had the know-how. To fix his problem. And when you look at the legacy of Joe's life, the Bible said Joe became twice as wealthy as he had before. Oh, yes. yes. So though this martial man is falling apart, I remember Minister Bird, I used to have a lot of Afro on my hair growing up. Yes. Because of, I don't know, maybe because of age or stress, all my Afro fall off my head. Now I have to shave my head daily. <laughs> and so even though I don't, I don't want to see here on half side of my head. I shave it to make everything look even. And so when he says this, this outward man perish it, 
So even though my flesh is falling apart, the Bible said the inward man is renewed right. day by day. Amen. Praise God. There's some wrinkles in my face. There's some oh, wrinkles God. in my face. But yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Because day by day. Right, amen. Yes, the Thank inward man is renewed. And because the Thank inward man you. renewed, I can amen. shout hallelujah. I could show thank you, Jesus, for the Lord is good. Yes. Yes. Talking about this treasure, man, this treasure that we have. This treasure that we have. Two more minutes and I'm done. When you understand, he says, he called it, he called it this, this, this treasure, this treasure that is in earthen vessels. Why did Jesus desire? Why did Jesus want to come and reside in a, in, in a person like me? Mm. I did not choose Jesus. Jesus chose me. That's right. oh, yes. Amen. I did not choose Jesus. Jesus chose me. Oh, yes. Jesus knew that I had some issues in this vessel. And the Bible said in Revelation 3, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Oh my goodness. Any man. He said, any man, even with a man with a messed up vessel, he said, I will come in and reside with him. Oh, yes. I will sit with him and he will sit with me, Revelation 3.20. And so now that Jesus is in the life of the church, Jesus is in this, this, this vessel. And, and so when issues come in my life, Deacon Bird, when issues come in my life, I don't really want the issues. I did not go into Walmart and buy these problems. But then I could look at Job and say, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. That's right. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. I can call a saint and say, pray for me, Minister Bird. I'm going through some situation here. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow. Hold me up in prayer because the Bible said, I am sharp and I am so a man sharp in the countenance of his friend. Know that Jesus resides in my life. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I say, I say, thank you, Jesus, for your saving grace and tender That's mercies. Right. Before that was not the case. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Amen. yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I go to work, Bishop folks, and sometimes some people come there and they're talking to me and they say, there's something about you, you know, there's something about you. And I said, what do you mean? I said, there's something about you. I said, what do you mean? I said, I said, does my armpit smell or what is going on? You're saying there's something. I said, what is the matter? I said, well, I don't know, but there's something about you. The light of Jesus Christ is shining in my life. That's right. Amen. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't leave the Holy Ghost when I'm going to work. I don't leave the Holy Ghost when I'm going outside the garage. I don't leave, I take the Holy Ghost wherever I go because I need oh, him. He yes. resides in this vessel. Oh, yes. That's right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. My life, my life, my life, my life is not my own. My life belongs to Jesus. Why? Because Jesus paid it all for me. My life belongs to Jesus. Thank you, free church. Hallelujah. That's the name of Glory to God. That's God. Glory to yes. God. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. You know, when, you look, when you look at the last verse, Evangelist Spence, here's what Paul says in verse... Number 17 and 18. Look what he says. He said, I know you're sick, you know. I know you have some issues. And he says, for our light affliction, and call it light. Light affliction. God call your suffering. God call your issues. God call your lack. God call your inefficiency. He call it light, man. That's right. He says, he says, he says, he says, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. He says, why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. That's right. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Are eternal. So don't, 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 don't be consumed with, 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 with your suffering, man. Don't be consumed with the issue that is going on. Don't be consumed with the bad report. Don't be consumed with, with, with the fact that, you know, we, you know, you don't look so well like before. Don't be consumed that all of these things are happening in this mortal flesh. Jesus still resides in your body. Oh, 
Because the Bible indeed said that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And your body is not yours. Your body belongs to Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Praise Lord. God. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Good Jesus. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time. <laughs> not worth I don't know what to know. You are going through some suffering in this moment, in this season. I hope you listen to me. Help me, Holy Ghost. God call oh. your suffering a light affliction. And he said, pay no attention to your suffering because it's only temporal. Look at the things that are not seen. You cannot right. see the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot see the Holy Ghost. That's but when right. you look to the hills from whence cometh your help, not that all your help cometh from God, who never sleep and who never stumble. You can wake up in the morning and shout, Hallelujah. You can That's shout, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Jesus. You have a treasure inside of you. You have a treasure. And Bishop said it best this man. Bishop said it make intercession for you because the spirit grown it. Because yeah. the things that we cannot utter, the spirit bear witness and it grown for us and brings it to God. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. That's the work of the treasure that's in us. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Glory to God. Praise 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 God. Hey, glory to God. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will oh, yeah. continue to use him for your glory. Father, I pray that you will strengthen him, oh God, and continue oh, yeah. to visit him, God, and to reveal yourself day by day more oh. and more, oh God, so he could speak to your people what we stand in need of, oh God. Strengthen mm. him, oh God. And everything that you poured out, oh God, for your glory, oh God, I know, oh God, you will restore him. So yeah. in the name of Jesus, we ask right now for restoration. And yeah. that touch him from the crown of his head, oh God, and to the very soul of his feet, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, that he will have that stamina and the strength and the ego to continue in your ministry. For your glory and for your glory alone. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Put your hands Praise together. the Lord. This afternoon, oh, yes, Lord. Ryan, he's in verse 17. I walk with the affliction saint is only for a moment because oh, the treasure God. is in this earthly vessel and you will not be defeated. It is right. just for a moment. Let us hold on to God's unchanging hand. Yes. We have to go through affliction, but the underlying oh, word here, but it is only for a moment. Just for a moment. So let's mm -hmm. get that in our spirit and tell ourselves, Lord, my affliction, let it become personal mm -hmm. because I don't know what your affliction is. But this uh, afternoon, it is only for a moment because it's temporal. Oh yeah. It's yes. temporal. Oh, my, my brothers, sister, my sister, my God. pastor, my bishop, my evangelist, my church brethren, saints of God, your affliction this afternoon is only for a moment. Oh, oh yes. On to God yes, and changing yes. hands. You will not be you will not be defeated through the word of God. All we live oh, for bless the name Jesus of Christ Lord through Jesus. his word of God. Praise Thank God. you, Pastor Brian, for that message because we need that encouragement. Oh, yes. We are along the line, we are all afflicted with something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But we know we will not be defeated. Glory. It will God. not be defeated because of that treasure that is in us. That is in us. Amen and amen and amen and amen. amen. Thank you so much for, 
for coming on this afternoon and joining with us. We appreciate it and we don't take it lightly because you could have been somewhere else. Uh, so I just want you to raise your right hand and just meditate in the presence of God. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, mm. dominion and power, both now and ever. Let God people say amen and amen and amen. 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 amen.